Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use PostgreSQL on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for install Postgre. And the first link which will appear here will be from postgre.org. So I'm going to click on this uh, link, which is postgre.org. Now, if you uh, land to the home page, you can directly click on the download uh, button here or click on download link here. Now we will choose our operating system, which is uh, Linux. And then from here, I can choose the distribution, which is Ubuntu. And I will be redirected to this uh, Ubuntu installation page, right? I can uh, scroll down a bit and then I can install the PostgreSQL using all these commands, right? So let me uh, copy these commands one by one and then try to execute them on my terminal. So if you don't know how to open the terminal, you can just press Control Alt T to open the terminal or you can go to the applications and click on this terminal option and it's going to open the new terminal. So let me give the first command here, which is this one and then press enter and give your Ubuntu's password and this command is successful. Let's give the second command, which is to import the repository signing key. I'm going to just give this command and then press enter. And that's also successful. Let's update the package list by giving this uh, sudo apt-get update. You can also give sudo apt-update command and it will also be successful, hopefully, right? Now let's give the next command. I'm going to just copy this command and then just paste it and then press enter. And this command is also installing the PostgreSQL. So just wait for some time. So now you can see this command is successfully uh, executed and hopefully the PostgreSQL is installed on my Ubuntu operating system. Now let me clear the terminal. Once this uh, PostgreSQL is installed, hopefully the server is already started. So we can uh, just start using the PSQL client in order to interact with the Postgre, right? So just give this uh, command, which is going to switch to the Postgre user and then we can use the PSQL command. So just give sudo hyphen i hyphen u and then postgres here, okay? And then press enter and you are switched to the Postgre user now. You can see earlier it was the code bind user, right? Now just give PSQL command, PSQL, and then press enter. And now you are inside the Postgre client using PSQL. Now let me show you how you can uh, exit from this uh, uh, PA Postgre uh, client. You can just give backslash Q and then press enter and you come out of this uh, PSQL shell, but you are still uh, logged in with your Postgre user, right? To create a new database, you can uh, just uh, go to your Postgre user or you can switch to the Postgre user and then give this command, which is create DB and your DB name. So I can just say my PG DB. This is the uh, database name I want to create, right? Press enter and it's going to create a new database. Now in order to uh, switch to this uh, database, I can give this command PSQL and then hyphen D and then the name of the database, which is my PGDB and then press enter. And you are switched into the new database, which you have created, right? You can give a backslash, uh, con info to get the information about the connection. I can just give con info here and it says you are connected to the database my uh, PGDB which I have created 
as a user Postgre, right? I'm logged in with the Postgre user via socket, this one, and it's running on this port, right? So everything is working fine here. And now I can uh, create a table here using create table command and start using this PSQL. Now, uh, this command shell is good. If you are a fan of uh, command line uh, uh, tool, but some user prefers the graphical user interface to interact with the PostgreSQL. In that case, you can install the official PG admin tool, which is a GUI application, uh, which you can use as a client to interact with your PostgreSQL. To install PG admin on your Ubuntu operating system, you can go to your favorite browser once again and then search for install PG admin. And the first link which will appear here will be from pgadmin.org. So I'm going to click on this uh, link here and uh, straight away I can see this download button, click on that. And then I can scroll down and then here I can choose uh, what do I want, right? So I am on Ubuntu, so here, I will use this apt command. So I'm going to click on apt here. And then you can see all these uh, Debian related uh, uh, distributions here. So for me, I want to install Ubuntu for my 22.04 uh, 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 operating system. So you can see it will work for all these platforms, right? So here, these are the commands to install uh, PG admin. So let's execute it, them one by one. So this is the first command. Let me uh, open the terminal. Let me open the next tab in the terminal and then paste this first command, which is the curl command. And then you can see the curl is not found on my system, right? So in order to install curl, I can use snap or I can even use the apt to install curl. For now, I'm going to give this uh, uh, sudo apt install curl command. So I'm going to just give sudo apt install curl and then press enter, give my uh, Ubuntu's password, which is going to install the curl, right? Curl is the utility which you can use to download some packages. So once curl is installed, I'm going to clear the terminal, copy the first command once again from here and paste it in my terminal, which is the curl command. And now it's successful. Once that's done, I can uh, copy the second command, which is to create the repository configuration file and paste it to, into the terminal, press enter, and it will also be successful. Once that's done, it's the time to install PG admin. At the time of making this video, the PG admin four is the latest version. I'm going to just copy this command and then paste it here and then press enter and then press Y and then press enter, which is going to start installing PG admin. Let's see if there is any other command. You have this uh, option to install the PG admin desktop. Also, you have the option to uh, install PG admin web, right? So if you want to install both, you can give both these commands. Also, uh, for the configuration for the PG admin web, you can give this command also. So we are going to give all these commands one by one once that uh, previous command is successful. Okay, so this previous command is successful. So we are going to give the next command to install the PG admin desktop and then press enter and that is done. So now I can give the next command to install the PG admin web and then press enter and that's also done. And then we can just execute this SH script to configure the web uh, interface. I can give uh, the email address uh, for now and then the password. I'm going to uh, give a very simple password here to remember uh, the login, right? So just remember that password which you have given, retype the password and 
it should be six characters so let me give the six character password retype it and hopefully that will be successful and then press y here and then press y and everything is successful so now i can open the pg admin on my browser using this link you can just click on this link or you can copy this link and paste it into your terminal right so you can see the pg admin is starting on my web browser you need to give the same uh, email and password which you have given at the time of configuration right which is given here right i have given this email and the password right so let me just copy this email by the way this is a fake email which i have given so if you want to send me an email it will not reach me if you send me on this email and then i'm going to give the password and then click on login and i'm logged in to my pg admin you can see now let's try to open the pg admin desktop application just go to the applications and then search for pg admin and then click on this pg admin desktop and it will also start right so let's open this desktop version both look similar you can see right so you can use either of them to uh, register a server you can just right click on server and then click on register and then click on uh, server let's connect to the local host so it's uh, 127.0.0.1 the default port is 5432 for uh, the postgre right as you might remember here by the way i need to give the name i can give any name here for now i'm going to give local host so that i can remember which server is this here i need to give 127.0.0.1 which is local host uh, as you might remember we have logged into uh, our uh, pg uh, uh, psql shell using this username which is postgres right now the password here uh, i haven't set any and by default the password is postgre here right so give this password here which is postgre and if it fails let's try to set a password so go to your terminal and here once again i'm going to switch to the postgre uh, username and then i can give the psql command here right so either you can give this psql command or uh, you can uh, give the create db command as i said to create the db here you can uh, change the default password by giving this backslash uh, password command so i'm going to just give backslash password and then space i'm going to just raise hde and then press enter and then i can give the password for this sde user right but i haven't created any uh, sde user i want to uh, do this for the postgre user right so let me just uh, once again give uh, this command and then so because i'm giving the postgre user uh, name here i need to give password for the postgre user so just give backslash postgre here and then give the new password i'm going to set the very simple password here and then retype it again and then press enter and it's set and let me just try that password here which i have set and then press save and now it works right so in order to change the password for postgre you can give this command and give your password and remember that password and use the same password in order to uh, connect to your local host server for postgre user now you can create all these databases this database we have created using the command line right so you have this uh, database and then here you can create the schemas and tables and other things so this is how you can install postgresql and pg admin on your ubuntu operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video